I'm Enigma, uh, London-based street artist, originally from Japan. The two elements of my style, one of, one of them is etching style, like, like Victorian style, right? And uh, the second one is, I can say, it's surrealism, you know. It's just, uh, for example, I'm personally really massive fan of uh, Margaret painting. And I quite got big inspiration in terms of attitude on the street, you know, like combine strange things together to make sort of impact to people. And that's kind of what I got from his painting. So when people say my style is cross hatching or illustrations or etching, it's, it's not just it for me. It's a, for, for me, even surrealism, surrealistic style is even, even bigger elements for me. I'm always trying to find a reference from like, like in a vintage bookstores or you know all the stuff like initial ideas quite random often like really of random like when i see something on the street like when i see scu like sculpture like this on the street and i just decide to do sculpture for example or when i e even like when i see like like see fly on the street or you know and uh, just just decide firstly decide to do one object and next next step is that i'm gonna think about how it's gonna be effective to combine with other objects. I mean, I'm gonna think about another object that will work really well with initial idea. So f for exactly this one, I, I just came up to do like Greek s sculpture first. And then when I think of uh, what is gonna be really effective on this playground, and I just decided to do clock. Exactly this one is kind of a concept of like forget about time or you know, this uh, I can say there is no street art culture in my country, in Japan, I can say. There is graffiti culture, but there is no street art culture, I guess. Because there is no mural, so there is no curator who organizes, so, you know. Simply people from my country quite, quite not, quite against street art, you know, spray painting. That's a bit, a bit too advanced thing for us, you know. Yeah, as we really don't like uh, graffiti culture. And it's really also difficult to accept street art as well, I guess. Actually, I just started from tagging on the street as, as everyone else, you know. Then, when I was a teenager, and I just needed, wanted to find kind of place that I can belong. And uh, absolutely wasn't into art or anything like that, you know. Like, it's absolutely about vandalism and uh, tagging on the street and, you know, taking a risk and enjoying it, you know. That was all about it. And, yeah, I wanted to find a place where I can feel relief or, you know, I can, where I can belong. Yeah, I wanted to be someone, like... The biggest benefit is that I can show my works, like, to random people on the street, you know, without, without displaying on the gallery. I can push people to see my works. It's this amazing part, actually. <laughs> I want people to feel strange, you know. This something odd is uh, exactly my aim when someone sees my work. That's my aim. I don't want people to feel like it's nice or you know it's beautiful i want to make people think you know what's going on what's the connection between different objects you know which has no connection